And now, your first Alert 5 weather. Well, it certainly was an icy weekend at the Ice Festival and Ice Castles in Triple Creek. Thanks so much to Carter for sending in this beautiful collage of pictures taken at both events this weekend. And if you've had a chance to get out to see them, you certainly probably felt the ice or it felt like an icy condition sort of, sort of uh, weekend for us if you were up there and taking a look right now. 30 more minutes left for the day. Plenty of people still out enjoying the Ice Festival right now. Temperatures for us generally in the 30s in Triple Creek, but for the rest of us, we're generally in the 40s along the Front Range Corridor and the 50s in the Eastern Plains. The Arkansas River Valley, you are generally the warm spot right now in the low to mid-50s, so definitely take advantage of that and get outside if you can and haven't already today. Now, the other thing you probably noticed, we've been outside or looked outside recently, is that it is cloudy for us right now, and those clouds are moving in due to a storm system that's moving in from the west. And so if you take a look over at Vail, a very busy weekend, one of the busiest of the season at our ski slopes. Plenty of cloud cover, some snow earlier today, now just have those overcast skies. But because our mountains are so tall, all of that moisture that is making its way basically west to east is basically going to ride up over the mountains. So we won't be seeing any rain or snow here. We're just going to be seeing those clouds for the next several hours. Now, if you take a look at the storm track for this system and the next several, they're all basically going to go to the north of the state. And that means we're going to have cloud cover for the next several days, particularly in the afternoon, but we won't be tracking any rain or snow. However, if you are planning on heading out for your holiday Monday to the higher terrain, here's what that's going to look like for you. In the eastern plains, and for us here in southern Colorado, clouds will clear out this evening, so you'll have a mainly clear night, but those clouds will be sticking around tomorrow on the western slope and in our central mountains. We aren't tracking any snow tomorrow, though, so your driving conditions should be a lot better. Now, your lows tonight, because of those clear skies, will drop quite a bit into the mid-20s on the front range corridor, lower to mid-20s on the eastern plains and in our higher terrain. But we are still on this warming trend, so a high tomorrow, another 5 to 7 degrees warmer than today. Take a look here, mid to upper 50s to low 60s, depending on where you are, 55 for the springs, and I've got yet 62 in Pueblo. Now, as we take a look at our upper-level pattern, as we move through the week, this big dome of high pressure is why we're going to be warm for the next several days. That dome of high pressure is also going to bring us some breezes on Tuesday and particularly on Wednesday. But overall, nice, calm, quiet weather and very warm, comfortable temperatures. But then we bring in our next weather system on Thursday, that weak area of low pressure you saw. That'll bring us a chance for some rain and snow showers Wednesday night and into the day on Thursday. But it's a very weak system, so we're not expecting anything major with this system. Now, taking a look at those future wind gusts, just to time that out for you, as we head through the rest of Tuesday, 20 to 25 mile per hour gusts. Wednesday is the breezier day, particularly in our southern mountains, we could see 40 to 50 mile per hour gusts. So you're going to need to hold on to your hats on Wednesday. But other than that, a very nice week ahead due to those downsloping winds. I've got us in the low to mid-60s for much of the week before we track that next storm system on Thursday. It'll cool us down, give us that chance for a rain or snow shower, but not super duper significant. And with wind gusts in the spring from Wednesday, anywhere from 20 to 30 miles per hour. And then we head into the weekend, we're looking dry, feeling comfortable with a warming trend once again. In Pueblo, upper 60s for you by Wednesday. I've got you at 69. You might hit 70 if we overperform a little bit before we drop to the 50s with that chance for a shower on Thursday. And then we're back to the 60s as we head into the weekend. Canyon City, you've also got those 60s rolling for you through Wednesday, back to the 50s on Thursday. Low 50s Friday before we're back to the 60s Saturday and Sunday. Woodland Park, you'll have a better chance for a snow shower on Thursday, but overall a fairly low impact system even for you and low 50s for you otherwise.